Hello, welcome to a new host of our video. My name's Alex. Today we're going to be answering one of our subscribers' questions. Um, they asked earlier this week what are switch port profiles with Unify. So uh, we thought we'd make a video and a blog post to um, discuss what what this is. If you're not familiar with Unify, the way that it handles VLANs is a little bit different to how Cisco or Edge or the Edgemax line handles VLANs. Um, it can be a little bit different to what you'd be used to. Um, instead of having actual VLANs to tag and untag, you just have to make custom port profiles or switch port profiles. So I'm just going to have a quick look at how to add them within Unify and then also what they are. So um, custom port profiles are a way of doing batch management of ports within Unify. So you could untag a VLAN or tag a VLAN, add a voice VLAN. You could also change a lot of things on the switch port and then you can just add them in bulk changes. So change the POE voltage. You could apply rate limits, link speed, voice VLANs, that sort of thing, the thing that would take a little bit of time to go through and add in manually. So what you do is you go to settings, then profiles within Unify. Now then on this Unify controller, I've got two VLANs just for the test purposes, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Um, so what you do is go to switch ports, create a new port profile. I'm going to name this profile name um, test, uh, test profile. I'm going to leave the POE mode as um, POE and POE plus. Now, for example, I'd, I'd want VLAN 2 untagged and then maybe VLAN 3 tagged. So this that's this is the only way you can do this with Unify. You can't go and do this from the switch ports like in Edgemax or Cisco. You have to come in and make a new port profile um, to do this, even this basic configuration. Now, we could go through and do some um, storm control for broadcast and multicast, spanning tree, uh, rate limits. You can get change notifications for topologies. Um, I'm going to leave that as that, um, and then what you do, once you've made that port profile, you go across to Devices, and I've got a test uh, 150 watt US uh, 8 switch. Go to the port you want to add this profile to, so I'm going to choose port 7. So you go Port Management, let's move myself out of the way. You go Port 7, let's move myself out of the way again, do Test. So port profile. I'm going to choose my new profile. So you see, you can what you can do is you have networks. You can specify the main VLAN that's controlled by the UXG Pro in this instance, or my my VLANs, which are VLAN two, VLAN three, and then I also have got my custom port profiles. So the only way to get this VLAN to be tagged and untagged at the same time is to do a test. Is to do a, a port profile. There's also a link to the manage port profile section here. So that's that's how you untag and tag different VLANs on a port within Unify. So um, that's, that's answered that question. Next thing I wanted to look at was what's different about VLAN management within Unify than something like Cisco or Edgemax. So I've got a edge switch up here that's already doing stuff for my home network. So I've got uh, five ports within use. This is actually the switch that controls my incoming feeds from uh, a WISP and, for, and LTE. Um, so this is all. This is exactly the same in the USB switch. Exactly the same in the edge switch line. Um, you have a visual representation of the ports on the switch. So this this actual switch has eight RJ45 ports. It's got two SFPs, which are indicated here. Um, so what it what it gives you is each VLAN, and then how each VLAN and what it's doing on those specific ports. So you can only untag one VLAN on one port at a time. So you can't have two VLANs untagged, but you can have one VLAN untagged and many many VLANs tagged. So I've got VLAN uh, 999 untagged on this port and on this port at the same time, so it's doing sort of a loop. Um, and then the same again on, on this VLAN, VLAN 2002 untagged on these two ports. And then also I've got uh, VLAN 11 tagged on this port for management for this this switch. So this is quite an easy way. If you want to make a new VLAN, you go, I'm going to do VLAN 75, add the new VLAN. By default, it's excluded. Then I can tag it and untag it on many different ports if I want to. Uh, see if I if I change VLAN 75 to be untagged at the same port as another another um, VLAN it's going to throw up an error. I've got to change that and it should go away. Again same with that one there. So uh, if I want to change that I can press apply so I'm just going to get that back to defaults. Hopefully that's answered your question about uh, switch port profiles within Unify. If you've got any more questions don't hesitate to contact Hostify at support at hostify.com I've also got live chat through this blue button on my website. Uh, one of the team will be happy to get back to you um, with any questions or queries you have. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please 
uh, subscribe to the host of our YouTube channel. And all the links to this video can be found in the video description. Um, so the link for this, this knowledge base article will be found below, as well as our LinkedIn and Twitter accounts as well. Thank you for watching. This has been Alex from Hostify.